The Bible records that Jesus Christ was born without a biological father, which means he was born without the sperm of a man. It clearly states that Angel Gabriel told Mary that the Spirit of God will make her pregnant, and the child she will born will be directly from God. This is the accepted and believed story by all Christians that he is the Son of God or simply the God incarnate himself. How about I tell you the story of another man that was born without a biological father? Yes, his mother just got pregnant with him and in fact, his own was even more miraculous because she even died before giving birth to him. This means he was born by a corpse. And this man is well known in the Bible. This story is derived from the second book of Enoch. Now, before I tell you who this man is, I would like to begin the story from the beginning. So, I will skip Adam and the rest of the fathers and start the story straight from the death of Enoch. After the death of Enoch, God called Methuselah, his son, to take over the leadership and priesthood of their nation from Enoch. Methuselah became the high priest who was in charge of making sacrifices and also was leading the people at that time. As you know, Methuselah happened to be the oldest man that ever lived on earth. He lived longer than everyone else in the Bible. He lived long enough to see his grandchildren and even great-grandchildren. One day, while Methuselah was about to die and join his ancestors in the heavens, God appeared to him a dream and outlined what will happen to the earth in some years to come. God told him that due to the iniquities of the people of the world and their refusal to live righteous lives as he wanted them to live, he has chosen to destroy the earth with a flood and start afresh. However, he has planned to remain a sample of humans and animals to repopulate the earth after the destruction. He has chosen the lineage of Enoch and specifically his grandson Noah, who was the first son of his son Lamech, as the leader in the saving of the people and animals that will remain on the earth. However, God told Methuselah to call Noah's brother, near and anoint him as the priest to take after him as the priest of the people, since Noah his elder brother has been chosen for the very important assignment of building the vessel for their voyage during the floods. As Noah will be the one to build the vessel, Nir will concentrate on service God and leading of the people from the altar of God. God instructed Methuselah to call Nir and teach him the way of the priests, as he was the one to take over priesthood from him. Methuselah gathered the people in the morning and told them everything God told him in the dream and great fear came upon the people. They told him to immediately call Nir and teach him the way of the priests, so that he will stand before God in his absence to lead and guide the people. Nir was called by Methuselah, and he was taught the way of the Lord, how to sacrifice to God and the leading of the people according to the instructions of God. After these things, Methuselah was also called to his ancestors as he lifted up his hands in prayers to God for Nir and the people. After the death of Methuselah, Nir advised the people to make sacrifices to God so that they will live a peaceful life on earth and perhaps God will avert his planned destruction of the world if not forever but at least in their lifetime. The people heeded his advice and brought animals like bulls, sheep and pigeons, and he made a sacrifice for the people in the house of God. Due to the fact that Nir lived a righteous life in service to God and in the leading of the people, God averted the destruction of the world for another 202 years. However, after enjoying the peace of God, the people began to take things for granted again, and they went back to their old ways of sin. And there was great envy, strife, fights and wars among them. At that time the devil was fully in control of the heart of men and evil became so pronounced on the earth that it led to an earthquake, which even made the priest, near even thought that the floods, which God foretold to his grandfather Methuselah has come upon the people already. But it was not yet time for the flood, it was just a warning, now, back to the main thing I wanted to talk about in this video. You see, near the high priest had no child yet, his wife, Sopanum was a barren woman, and she was past menopause, so there was no hope for Nir having a child in his lifetime. But being a man of God, he was not disturbed, but was focused on the service of God. 
As a priest, he spends most of his time in the temple and only gets to see his wife when he goes on leave from the temple. One day, his wife woke up to the feeling of dizzy and vomiting. When she saw a doctor, she was told that she was pregnant. Seeing that she had not had sex with any man for almost a year, she became confused and asked the doctor, How did I get pregnant? The doctor who could not explain how she became pregnant without having sex was still sure she was pregnant. However, she chose to keep the child and decided to stay indoors to avoid gossips from her neighbors, who will be asking her many questions concerning the legitimacy of her pregnancy. It happened that when she was in the ninth month and was already feeling the labor cramps that her husband near went home on leave from the service in the temple. He called on her to come to his room with the aim of sleeping with her. When she came to him in the night, he discovered that she was heavily pregnant and was even about to give birth. Nir became angry with her that he shouted on her. Who made you pregnant, my dear wife? I have not had sex with you for over a year. How did you get pregnant? He asked her many questions concurrently. In anger, he even drove her out of his room without hearing her own part of the story. She came back into the room crying and trying to explain to him, but he was not ready to hear her explanation at all. He was disturbed that if people get to know that the wife of a priest like him got pregnant outside wedlock, it will become a big scandal that will even affect the legitimacy of his priesthood of the land. When she came back again to plead that he hears what she wants to say, and he shouted at her again. She fell down and became unconscious before him. Nair touched her paws and discovered that she has no paws. He knew instantly that she was dead, and fear gripped him. He locked her inside his room and went straight to meet his brother, Noah, and told him everything that happened. He and Noah came back to the room and saw the corpse of the pregnant wife lying on the floor. Noah then advises him that the best thing that they need to do was to bury the woman secretly so that people will not ask questions. Now that the issue had become complicated, people will say that the wife got pregnant out of wedlock and near killed her out of anger. Although, he did not even touch her with his finger. The only thing he did to her was to shout on her. No one will believe his story. They still left her corpse in the room and took shovel and went out in the night to dig a grave to bury her silently. After digging the grave, they returned to carry her corpse to bury. As they opened the door, they met a little boy sitting by her corpse. The boy was all covered with a film all over his body like a newborn baby, only that he was bigger than a new baby. Apart from the fact that the baby was looking like a three-year-old baby, the baby was able to talk. The baby then prayed and blessed God right before them. The fact that the baby was born of a dead woman brought more twist into the issue. But on a closer look at the baby, they discovered that the baby had the badge of priest on his chest. Noah and Nir became full of fear but thanked God for his blessing because they knew right away that the child was sent from God to become a priest of God. They carried the baby washed him and dressed the boy, and then gave him the holy bread of the temple and he ate. And he was named Melchizedek. Does the name sound familiar? In Genesis 14 verses 18 to 20, Melchizedek was said to be the king of Salem and also a priest of the God Most High. He is believed to speak to God as both creator and deliverer. He offered bread and wine, to Abram after his victory in battle over his enemies. Abram then gave tithes to Melchizedek, which is a tenth of everything, supporting the idea of his priesthood. Noah and near them took her body and prepared her for a befitting public burial seeing that the child was no more in her womb, and she did not commit the sin of adultery as they thought. Noah then advised his brother to raise the boy in secret because of the increase of the evil in the land. If people get to know about the child, they may even put the child to death. Nir then took the baby to the temple to teach him the way of God. After some time, when evil became unbearable on the earth, Nir became worried for the child and prayed to God to show him what the child will become and how he can keep the child saved from the calamity that is coming upon the earth. 
The Lord appeared to him in a dream and told him that the child has a great destiny. After him will arise twelve more priests like him, and the thirteenth priest in his lineage will be called the Word and Power of God. This thirteenth priest is mostly believed by Christians to be Jesus Christ. The following scriptures support the belief. For it is declared, You are a priest forever, in the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews 7 verse 17 And Psalm 110 verse 4 The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. God told Nair that as for the saving of the child from the evil of the world and the destruction that is coming due to the flood, God is sending angel Michael to carry and hide him in the Garden of Eden where the flood will not enter. The next night angel Michael came to Nair and explained everything that will happen to the child according to his dream. He took the child and placed him in the Garden of Eden and Nair missed the child so much because he had become so attached to the child as he had no other children. Nir will later die and there was no priest until after the end of the flood. Thank you for your support.